Hello, we are the Delivery Boys. I am Saz, my boy Julian, and today we are delivering a dryer to a kind of old lady. She seems kind of nice. I don't know, what do you think? How'd she sound on the phone? Uh, she sounded, she sounded at least over 50, maybe even over 60. Over 60, man, we got a dinosaur now. I mean, you, you kind of think about it, I mean, you people are kind of expecting, you know, you get what you pay for it. This lady, on her paper directly, it said deliver only. Let's see how that actually goes because, I don't know man, some of these Karens, they like to think that, oh, just because you paid for delivery, we're gonna put in this little ass closet that you have on the back of your house, and the old fridge you have smells like fucking dog shit after it already died, but I don't know. So tell me, tell me about the story about your boy. It's my boy Josh. buddies shot him on accident it was, it was a little 22 but so like the thing is with 22 a lot of people make fun of 22s they always say like oh you know you're not gonna shoot what's that gonna kill nothing right it's like no a 22 will fuck you up you know so i guess the story goes josh tells me he gets off of work he goes in his room and then he's just he just sees uh, our buddy i'm not gonna name no names he just sees our buddies just kind of like, I guess, messing around. He's like, hear ye, hear ye. And then I guess the, the gun goes off and then it grazes. It shoot, he gets shot in the shoulder. But then it ricochets because that's what 22s do. They ricochet. And it gets like, it stops right at the at his lung. Oh, geez. And so when he goes to the hospital, they're like, yeah, we're not going to be able to take this out because... One is gonna be hard to get to, and if we do take it out, um, it might. What a chance you could bleed out. Well, or so it was something with like the bullet is so close to the lining of his lung, uh -huh. it might be like on it. But if they take it out, well, then he's he's dead. So I really didn't get too much details. I'm gonna go talk to him pretty soon to just try to figure out what the fuck happened. But uh, yeah, so he pretty he's pretty much gonna live with the the bullet inside of him. I was gonna suck when it goes through a metal detector. Yeah, I mean it's a cool story, I guess. Like I have been shot. Yeah, how many people can say they've been shot, right? And live to tell the tale. But, <laughs> so I guess I gotta make time just to go see him to get more details on exactly what the fuck happened. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the latest news out of my life. So, apparently, it's okay to catfish people still. Why? Uh, cause I had a theory that if I were to put my picture online and like be me as me, but just change my name slightly, I mean, you figure, okay, what do I look like? I could be fucking Armenian, I could be fucking like Arab. Just all the matter of like, once I actually get to start, to start talking to the girl, what are you gonna do? So you see, well... I, I try and play myself off as another race, because I've been wanting to hit on Indian chicks for like the longest time. But I don't think you need to be all that. I mean, I, well... I gotta see, because like, a lot of the times like I've seen, like, they have like these rowdy ass dads that are like, if you ain't Indian, you ain't about it. So, you know, maybe I can get away with it. I'm not gonna be a douche and like throw the accent in there. Oh no. Yeah, that'd be funny though. That's the last thing I want to know. Like, Hello, sir, how are you doing today? And he comes up even harder. It's like, where are you from? I'm, I'm like, bang the port. Bang the port? You mean Bangalore? No, 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 no. Like, then you're just thinking, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, fuck, cover's blown. Anna, what do you think of starting relationships on lies? Smoking weed for me isn't that big of a deal, but 
like when it comes to like other stuff, like maybe like, oh yeah, I like to take, uh, you know, acid or mushrooms or stuff. Right. Maybe that can, that can hold off, you can hold off on telling them maybe that stuff for a while. And then when you feel comfortable enough, you can tell them. But I don't think you should just lie. You can hold stuff back from, you know. You can let them find out? Yeah, it was like eventually you can tell them like, oh yeah, I also do this. You know that, or you can be like me, and your girlfriend finds out. Oh, you're married? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Uh... Yeah, but you get divorced though. Yeah, exactly. But it's been two years. Well, these are also problems. <laughs> Dude, I swear, like this chick has like almost left me like four times, and like this is the last straw. So basically, any problem girl I found on like my social media, I've gotten rid of. I just, just, just for the fact that, like, I'm dumb, I make bad decisions, and I talk to them. Well, guess who likes to snoop through my phone when I'm asleep? Okay, yep. And basically, that's how I get caught. And when I get caught, she gets mad. She feels hurt and disgusted. And I'm like, I understand how you feel. I'm sorry for being a shitty boyfriend. But hey, I'm, I'm good to her, like, 80% of the time. So it's like, yeah, come on. <laughs> But it's all about 100% of the time, sir. It needs to be 100 If I want to be a husband, it has to be 100 See, this is why, this is why I have gotten off of social media. You should just do it, man. Just get off. I am kind of off. I mean, I never post anything. I'm more of an observer. Like, like, just, like, straight up, just get off. Like, I watch Twitter. Like, I'm on Twitter just for porn. Straight out. Like, that's where you watch your porn? That, Twitter? Well, that's where I find or all Or that's where you find clips? That's where I find, like, the niche stuff I'm into. See, I get paranoid because, like, if I do that stuff, like, like if I'm looking up porn, I get paranoid. This is also a reason why I was like, maybe I shouldn't be on this social media. I get paranoid. I start thinking, well, what if I accidentally post something? Yeah, Man, that could be a like thing. It's, like, super fucking embarrassing. It's happened. <laughs> no lie. Like, I also think, like, this, this is why I don't like sending out weenie pics or having weenie pics ready to go on my phone. Gotcha. Because I've sent out weenie pics before. But, you know, I've just, I've, I don't have them ready to go. It's usually, okay, let me get this new one taken and let me send it out. Because I always think in my mind, yeah, it's like, I don't want to post my dick on anything. And then my family's like, what the fuck you doing? Is that sun? Is that your penis? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Didn't mean to. Yeah, I'm starting to kind of feel better. Actually, I like. I think I've been off of social media. Like, like I only got Snapchat, and that's because I only talk to like my two buddies, right. like, my two best friends. One of them lives in Oklahoma, and the other one's in California. And so, like, we all just like kind of group chat and dick around like that. But like, no more. Fa- I got rid of Facebook like in the beginning of the year. Right. I, f- I felt better because it's like I was just seeing too much bullshit, like too much uh, like political stuff. Facebook was the political one for me, where it's like, nah, I don't want to see this shit no more. It's like it's all the same. So let me just. Why do I need it? I don't want to be on here. So let me just get rid of it. My next one to go was Instagram. I never had a Twitter or any of those other ones. It was always just Facebook, Snapchat. Or Instagram. So the next one to go was Instagram. And even then, I just started to see too much, like, political stuff. But then I started seeing even more, like, going down rabbit holes. Like, just fucked up shit. Like, people... <laughs> I'm just seeing, like, people, like, pretty much just, like, blown to pieces. Like, that kind of stuff. All the shock stuff. Like, yeah, like, shock stuff. I was like, fuck. Like, that's out there. Like, yeah. I didn't know that was out there, but... I was just seeing it, like, constantly. Like, after... Like, before I would go down rabbit holes, but then I was going down the rabbit holes too much that it started just popping up on its own. I was like, oh, we think you might be interested or whatever. Uh, like, they, those, like, those accounts would pop up on my little... Like, should follow you? these and all that. Yeah. And then also, with this whole Epstein stuff, which is... If you want to get into it, we'll get into it. But, like, with this whole pedof- pedophile ring and... Hollywood elite stuff was just like constantly seeing that I was like fuck like, this is kinda it's making me sick almost why can't people just fuck people their own age why, why can't that be a thing well because there are people who don't like to do that I guess 
what I what I don't what I hate what I really starting to hate is what they trying to pass it off as a king. No, it is not. Pedophilia is not a fetish. Get that shit the fuck up out of here. Like, I think I, I've told you this before, but uh -huh. since I guess whoever's gonna see this is gonna see it. Like this is this is gonna sound fucked up, I think, but biologically, our bodies are ready to start producing at young ages. Anyways, like what, twelve maybe? Thirteen. I'd say like fourteen, like at the at the, at the least. Anyways, like we're, we're, our bodies are meant to start producing, right? That's just like as an human animal. nature, right? If we were animals, yeah. So, and you know, back then, yeah, who knows how long ago, you know, that medieval times, married at like fucking thirteen it wasn't that big of a deal. And you'd have like fourteen kids, and like four of them would survive. Yeah. So say. It sounds fucked up today because we're so civilized, I guess. Yeah. But, man, that's just how biology works. But like I said, it sounds weird saying it, but that's just how it, it is. I think you should be doing it. No. I but, mean, yeah. I mean, physically the body can reproduce, but mentally, no one is ready for that shit. No yeah. one is ever ready for that and shit. And also, it's like, you should also be attracted to someone who's... Like, if you're 14 and you're attracted to 14 year olds, yeah, that's fine. That's, you know, no big deal. But if you're fucking, if you're my age, you're fucking 20, oh, 23, I think, then you're looking at 14 year olds like that. Yeah, it's like, well, okay, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's like, just fucking, like, if you really like them that young, Wait till they're 18, you know what I mean? don't. <laughs> That's when you're an adult. Is when you're 18. And even that's weird because it's like, well, this is just a number that we put. Why not make it to where we're legally an adult at 21? You know? That's when we can drink. Well, so I we mean, people, people ain't gonna wait, though. Oh. I mean, I wanted it when I was 17, and by God, I got it. Oh, yeah, like, that shit's gonna happen. You're gonna get it if you want it. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it's like, who made 18 the legal age? He, he can't even buy cigarettes anymore at 18. No, you cannot. You gotta wait till you're 21 in San Antonio. Yeah, you gotta wait till you're 21 to buy beer, buy cigarettes. But you can to go to war. Yeah, but you can sign up for the army and say, like, you know, alright. So that's also another thing. It's like, who made 18? It's like, alright, you're an adult now. That's more of like a, a pre-adult. I can see that. Or just make it 20, because you're not a teen anymore, you know? I mean, the consent, the age of consent in Japan is like 16, so I don't know. Well, because 16 year olds are already going to be fucking anyway. Alright. Now, if you're, again, if you're fucking someone my age, 